Good morning. morning. Bonjour. Bonjour. From Martinique. We're here. Yeah, we just got the bing bongs in the hallway. We have clearance. I guess yes. we're going to snag some breakfast mm -hmm. and head ashore. So this is only our second time to Martinique. But we had such a good time the first time on our North Island tour with Beyond the Beach yes. Tours. We're like, you know what? Let's do their South Island tour this time. We didn't get to see all of it yet, so why not, right? Yeah, so we're going to head out independently booked with mm -hmm. Beyond the Beach. They're great. Oh, yeah. And check out the rest of the island. Yes. So let's do that. First breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Washy washy chocolate babkas, the special of the day. Okay. Oh, we got the small plates for breakfast today. <laughs> Look at your little croissant. I mean, we're in like French territory. Eh, I got the, well, under there somewhere is my pam <laughs> Yeah, I guess Martinique, according to the Google, is considered an overseas region of France. So, there you go. We would like to inform you that the sheet has been cleaned by the local authorities and you may now proceed ashore. All right, gangway, deck two. Bienvenue, I'm Martinique. So we will make our way down to the end of this very colorful pier, and I believe we're looking under the first white tent on the right. For now, we can just bask. As you know, we love to do. It is pretty. C'est très joli. Ah, sorti. Ooh, nice photo op. I like it. Oh, they got festive music. Aha, right here at the first white tent. Perfect. All right, we are all checked in. We're a little early, so we're just going to hang out under the shade of the white tent and get this party started. We have everybody's names on the sign, so it's oh, easy yeah. to find. And they'll come and confirm that you're on the right tour. So, yeah. very efficient. Well, let's look at this map while we're standing here. You know I love maps. Okay, so I guess there are two, at least two, places that cruise ships can dock. We are in at Point Simon today on this side of town. But you could also dock over here, I guess, at Torrell. So, anyway, but they send you very specific instructions on where to meet, depending on which port you're coming in at. Oh, look at these vendor stands. So many turtles. All right, we're going to come find our ride downtown. We get to go through a carousel. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm fascinated by the carousel. Here, I'll take the big side. <laughs> Wee! Et voila! Oh, this is a nice big van. Okay, I didn't realize when they opened up the passenger door that it worked like a bus. Yeah. You yeah. get on up in. I haven't seen that before. It's comfortable. Really? There's some horsey friends. Welcome, everyone. And I hope you all enjoyed the little talk. Sunday is not a very good day to come to this island. Paris is the capital of this island. Because we are just a French department. The town of Fort de France is the main town on the island but not really the capital. But for we, the local people, it is our capital. But you all can see, everywhere is closed. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna do the point of view and we're gonna leave, so <laughs> that will give you all, that will give us much more time by the beach. Okay. And also much more time at the uh, <laughs> oh boy! Oh, <laughs> we made our first stop here at the Pottery Village. Pretty much everything is closed on a Sunday, but we've got viewpoints and things like that. And a cat over there. Since then, we just had a brief passage of the English on this island. This is not even too long. That's cute. Hey, kitty. Very so they would normally have shops, ice cream, snacks, and, uh, presumably pottery. Who was trying to understand when I was talking about the mangroves, there you can see them. Oh, true. See? Yeah. The roots in the seawater and out of it. This is what we filter the salt. Ah, we can see the ship across the way. It kind of blends in with the background. Let's see if we can get any air snorkeling on. Yeah, the big building up there, I guess, was a brick factory. I don't know if this is still a brick factory. There's like a bunch of bricks out here. 
I got a picture of it. That's about as close as I can get. So right there behind that sailboat is in fact our yeah, yeah, sailboat. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's not right. This kind of volcano, it is a volcano that's got no lava. Mm. It's mm -hmm. ash, rock, and what's dangerous with those volcanoes is the gas. Mm. Uh, you all heard about Mount St. Helens in the US? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's exactly the same kind of volcano. There is no lava at all at those volcanoes. Mm. But when they explode, mm -hmm. it's danger. Because they said the explosion of this volcano was 10 times more powerful than the first atomic bomb. Mm. Just try yeah. to imagine. Mm. You have seen things on television about the first atomic bomb. Mm -hmm. See all those damage that it did? Right. Just try to imagine 10 times more powerful. Oh, no, I can't imagine. Which means just, just blew everything from the top and 35,000 people were killed. Wow. One survivor, drunk guy in a prison cell. Mm. That's a good thing to drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let us continue our wander. All oh, these cool historical buildings. Oh, Dia's getting pictures of some uh, turkeys or some kind of pheasanty bird down the way. Soaps and things, what? I know I am very sorry because everyone was close, but I hope you all still enjoyed the little stop. Yeah. Oh, that was great. It's 11 Okay, 11 o'clock now. We will leave here at 12. Let's make haste. Allons-y. Well, let's do some beach basking before we get in here and try to see if we can find any turtles. <laughs> I've left my water shoes on even though I don't really know if I need them out here. Hmm, looks nice. Well, first thing she said, there's a lot of fish. Oh yeah, I see schools of one. Well, they're blending in with the sand, but I can see them with my eye holes. Yeah, there's a lot of folks snorkeling out near some specially colorful marked buoys out there, so... Anyway, let's discover what we can in an hour. So I've come upon a big cluster of grass. Grass is a good sign, maybe for turtles. When we came to Martinique last time, we went to Car Bay, I believe was the name of the beach, and we didn't get in, because it was a little bit of a shorter stop than this, but we're like, you know what? We're getting in that ocean today, or sea, Caribbean sea, water. Yeah, Mermaid D reporting a few jellyfish. I think one got her behind the, the arm, but the sun has come back out. We're still excited to try to find some cool stuff. So I think I'm going to try to accompany her out here to one of these uh, floaty buoy doodly doos and we'll see what happens. I can hear faint singing coming out of the church in town. I'm sure the camera doesn't pick it up, but it sounds like a choir singing. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are lots of rocks out here. Okay, Dia's having a good time. These buoys that we were seeing from a distance, well, I guess they serve multiple purposes. A, you can hold on to them should you get tired of swimming, but they teach you about the coral and maybe the fish and different things that you will see out here. So you can have a stinking learning time while you rest. Our guide was telling us, obviously, this is considered part of France. It was funny. I think it's this village we're in now. He said was voted something like the second best or prettiest village in France. Like all of France is here on the Isle of Martinique. There's something I think he said uh, having to do with like all of the colorful houses being close together or some such thing. Oh, there's that church. I don't hear the singing anymore. Oh, 
I'll just bask at this beach. And again, being that this is technically France, you know, sometimes I'm always having to be like, oh, is this one of those beaches where you have to be careful where you point your camera? It does not appear to be that kind of beach, but you never know. Be diligent. <laughs> So South Island, that is where it's at, I guess. I think my understanding I picked up on the tour so far was that the white sand beaches are mostly on the south side. You get the black sand beaches, which I guess is like Carbe, um, on the north side. So this is a volcanic island. They only have one remaining active volcano, which is the one, of course, we saw last time we were here with the big eruption in the early 1900s. But it doesn't really have uh, magma or lava, he said. It's like cinder and ash, kind of like Mount St. Helens. Now, I never knew they had sergeant majors in the French army as well, apparently. But <laughs> judging by these waters, they do. There's a lot, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. so glad we have this stop. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, I hear the singing from the church again, faintly. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I don't think the camera's going to hear it. I do. Dee has come up with a new plan. Since this island is literally within sight of St. Lucia, and we are going to buy a piton eventually anyway, if you've watched our St. Lucia video, uh, we're going to then come to this church as our church, where we will, you know, sing our hearts out, and then you come here and you snorkel. That's when we're not snorkeling between the pitons, of course. Oh, guys, there's a lot of snorkeling to do. Fun fact, je parle un peu de français. J'ai étudié français pour cinq ans, mais it was a long time ago. J'ai oublié beaucoup. <laughs> hey, you know what? Je voudrais acheter un petit gâteau de chocolat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's an old joke from last time. You want a petit chocolate cake? <laughs> a little chocolate cake. Um, yeah. How do you say turtle in French? Because I figure that's my mistake I'm oh. making. I'm saying hello, and then I said bonjour, oh. but I do not know how to say turtle. That is true. That's one of those words. I know, like not... tortuga, but that's not French. Right. So the Spanish turtles would respond to you with that. <laughs> I am going to actually have to look that up. Oh, no. Yeah, that's one of those I'm words. I'm blaming the fact that I don't know how to say that. Yeah. So <laughs> you can go out there and buy all the little chocolate cakes you want, but I'm going to have to Google the word for turtle. So judging by the clock on the front of the church, it is about quarter to 12, meaning we have about 15 minutes until we leave this glorious place. All right, Mermaid D, you ready to? No, <laughs> never. <laughs> ready to go? Ah. No. I'm telling you, hashtag Pitons for Pero DJ. Oh, okay. <laughs> was it, I think it was just Piton. Piton for Pero DJ. We only need, we only one. need one. We don't need both Pitons. No, no, no. Step right in. Oh, the right. bar is open. Perfect. You tell me when to stop. Mix it oh, on the spot. That's good. It's this is sauce? yours. I don't okay, know. this one's mine. I'll let you decide. How much would you put in there for yourself? Not me. Yeah. All right, perfect. Juice. All right, the noon <laughs> bell is going off on the church. <laughs> Can you think of a prettier oh, setting for a church? Oh my gosh. It's beautiful, yeah. Oh, qu'est-ce que c'est? Du cat cow. I'll take some. <laughs> Okay. It, it is sort of a, it's very much, no, there's no, I don't see, you see the chocolate there. All right, let's see what it is. Sugar, flour, and eggs, he said. Just a very simple cake to follow your rum. Oh, that's good. 
Okay, time to load up and move on. Whew. What's the village we're in now? Les Os Darlé. That one. Les Os yeah. Darlé. <laughs> Made a stop here at Diamond Rock. Let's see if we can come down here and learn something. Plus, it's raining a little bit, and this has a roof. <laughs> Le Rocher du Diamant. Yeah, on a nice day. Oh, I see a little bit of shadowy, shady over there that could be the island of St. Lucia. And Diamond Rock. Boom! Closer Diamond Rock. How about that? Oh, I see. Yeah, underneath the sign, you got some people who leave locks behind. All right, back up we go. Get in one more bask from the top here. So just imagine seeing all of St. Lucia over there. <laughs> <laughs> Examine this a little more closely in a minute, but we have made a stop at this memorial where we can learn. Well, everybody else went over to the first sign, so we will study the second sign. Well, at that diamond rock, they had all kinds of stuff. We have this So, very few people survived this particular shipwreck. And then they made a monument down here that is 15 statues arranged in a triangle to sort of represent, I guess, the slave trade triangle. And I think you said they brought this sand in from Trinidad to make these statues. Yeah, there we go. Weight, grit, and sand from Trinidad and Tobago. Four tons per statue. Yeah, look at this earlier, this little plan here. Mm. I think our guide was also telling us that over there are some of the more dangerous beaches folks tend to get into trouble at if they swim at it the wrong time of year. But it is quite pretty out here and we can see all the way down to Diamond Rock. Okay, I think we have one stop left and that's going to involve some rum. Yeah. This is super powerful. So we have made it to Clement. Now he said this is not normally the rum stop nope. you get on the tour. I think it's actually the one that we went to last time. But it's Sunday. Correct. This one is open on a Sunday. They don't actually produce rum here i guess but they've got some rum that is produced locally here that we can try yeah. and this one is a further ride than the other one so if you do your tour here on a sunday it might be a little extended i think we're going to run probably a half hour long which is fine back on board tonight until 5 30. Yeah. they were thinking we'd be back to the port by two but we're probably looking closer to 2 30 now just because of this extra distance but hey rum we're starting to see cool stuff So we're gonna go inside for a while, probably do our tasting, then at the end we'll get to come out and take a few pictures in the garden, because um, yeah they do. Well, there's the entrance, but we do have the option of a restroom over here, so you know what? Let's take it. Ooh, over here by the restrooms. Okay, we're learning something. Gosh, I can smell the barrels. I know, right? So now we are going to come into Clément, la boutique. Okay, head over to the bar is the instruction. I think we can do that. Oh wow. Wait guys, I got distracted by cool machinery. Oh. We learned earlier they're making agricultural rum here, meaning it's made from the sugar cane, not made from molasses like some of the other islands or what they call industrial rum. Okay. We're learning. I'm gonna give you a tea punch. So this is the one with the citron and the sugar, sugar cane juice. Oh, okay. There we go. Lime okay. this syrup. One is a Wait, wrong. Oh dear. 
Yeah. It's good though, it's sweet. But yeah. <laughs> oh, it got me. Uh huh. It got me right when it entered my mouth. Yeah, you have to control your breathing. If you breathe wrong. I did it wrong. Oh, that's good though. Very good. <laughs> yeah, dosing up something else down there now. This one is four years old. Oh, okay. Four years old. It's a whole one. Notes of four whiskey years old. and vanilla. Not as strong, but uh, well, not as strong in like burning sensation, but a stronger flavor. Okay. Yeah. You know, we're trying to say smart words about rum, and it's working right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not as burning. Is that what you meant? Not as burning. Yeah. Okay. See, these are the smart words. Like a, a deeper flavor. More body. That's fine. That's right. I have more body, and I like this one. <laughs> All right, they've broken out the 15 year now. They said we could try 10, we could try 15. I'm gonna let you here, lead the charge on the 15 year. Uh oh. Like a very rich flavor. I don't know how to describe it. I guess that's, that's the age. But it is like a, a definitely like a rich overall flavor. I keep wanting to say body, but that's what <laughs> It's good. Yeah, it doesn't burn too much either, which is nice. Oh gosh. I went baby steps. Ooh, it burns a little more than four, I think. Uh, yeah, see what you mean. It's a whole yeah. different flavor. Yeah, it's good. In, insert smart words here. Okay, there's no smart words. It's good. <laughs> we got a cute little shop in here. Punch. What? Wow. I don't know if this is just ready to drink. Do you mix this? 18% alcohol. Okay, yeah, that is ready to roll. Oh, how much for this? I need one of these in my life. I don't know what it is but I need it. <laughs> oh, they sell snacks. Okay, that's super smart. I mean, this is... Big bag of M&M. You know people in here sampling the rum. They're going to want some chips. They're going to want some <laughs> cookies. Let's do some machinery basking. I know he said... I don't know if they still do, but this was a steam right. engine run place. What can I... Oh. Don't get in there. No, no. Don't... Oh, no. <laughs> Gosh, I'm hearing birds or a sound effect or something. Good gracious. All right. So 25 euros there. That was the one that made the sort of uh, tea punch that we drank. 17.50 for that one that they said was a little sweeter. Oh, then you start getting into the aged stuff. I think it was 115 for a bottle of the 15 year, but they've got the, yeah. I it's mean, been there a while, so. That's true. Pay for quality. That's right, you do. Oh, there's some fancy stuff. Okay, so 750 euros. This guy's 990 euros. Yes, please. You can get cigars. Oh, cute. They've got the little teeny tiny bottles that work out to two to three euro per bottle. Thank <laughs> you. This looks like a lot of their sugarcane type products up here. Nice. I mean, not that rum is not a sugarcane product, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Not Cookies and things. Oh, we've come out to look at some bendy trees. D loves bendy trees. Oh, I see. This does say Clement. It's kind of hard to see because it's, you know. It lights up. Well, before we sock D, they told us we could have about 10 minutes to putter around the garden down here. Look at this cool oh, wow. bendy tree. <gasps> so bendy. I know. Wow, Super the bendy. Oh, there's some statues and stuff up here. I saw one. I kind of missed that one. Oh my gosh, let's go look at stuff. Okay. Oh, there's all sorts of art installations over here. What is happening? Look, art, art, art. There's a red thing up there. Guys, we have like seven minutes to explore some art. Let's do it. Why would you leave your camera on the bus? I mean, I didn't think I was taking pictures. Oh, this says Julie. What? Looks like it looks like Chihuly glass. All right, so let's go toward Jardin de Sculpture. Yeah, we can't make it around to all this. Good gracious. There's a giant head on this side. Look at this thing. All right, some sculpture basking from afar. <laughs> Beautiful. Ooh. Ah, that's a sculpture too. <laughs> There's a giant, like, die up on top of a hill. Moulin à Boeuf which I would have thought meant beef mill, but it says beast mill. What? 
Goodbye, cool bendy tree. <laughs> We're gonna head back up here to the van. And now, Sakti. <laughs> And we are back at the port in Fort de France with, good gosh, we have like two and a half hours till we have to be back on board, so lots of time. I think we'll go ahead and jump on though, because I got a little bit of work I gotta finish up. Ooh, they've got the little bikes ready to take people down the pier. All right, through security and back to our home. be evening now. Yeah. So we are ready for dinner, fresh and clean, getting ready to head to Passport. But first of all, let's talk about our day with Beyond the Beach. Amazing. Yeah, if I could yeah, sum yeah. it up, uh, that's the word I would use. So we have done the north side and now this is the south side. I enjoy both for yeah. different reasons, but I really love today. Martinique is beautiful and one thing to note is the roads are so good. Like Jay nice. and I are like, these are the smoothest roads besides the ones that are like where we live. Yeah, because so. it's been bum bum yeah. on the last three ports and we get to this one, we're like, these are smooth roads. <laughs> Countryside is beautiful. Mm -hmm. They also grow bananas here. The snorkeling was incredible. That's what got you today. Um, we had a lot of history, some very powerful moments in that yeah. tour. That was really good. Um, and then the rum tasting, the beautiful distillery. It really so. is. So much history and knowledge. Our tour guide, Joseph, was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a great day. Yeah, I mean, I like their North Island tour because so it has a lot yeah. of history, like with the volcano and all that. But, I mean, the South Island tour. It was beautiful. Yeah, I'll do them both. Try both and tell us which one you like better. That's right. Do it. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks to Beyond the Beach. Thank that was awesome. It was amazing, yeah. Now... I let's need go, food. Let's go do our evening. Yeah, we didn't really have much in the way no. of lunch, so let's go um do our evening stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> band is getting ready to kick up over there. Can't really see them too well, but like I said, we'll just kind of listen. Now it's time for Silhouette Dining Room. I'm ready for it. Let's peek down the cocktail page. I show it every night, but I'm sure it's the same. There is what we are looking for. Appetizers, entrees, yes. For our bread selection, we've got paprika breadsticks. We've got baguettes. We have multigrain down there. And for dips, we are looking at roasted red pepper, butter, and herb and onion. side of the dessert menu as always and of course the good stuff oh yes we've got kiwi sorbet pistachio ice cream pina colada frozen yogurt
Oh, they're playing friendly feud out here in Entertainment Court. We are heading into the Equinox Theater for Shades of Buble. Is this 50 Shades of Buble? No. Audio and visual recordings and flash photography are not permitted. Next in the Sky Lounge is a music and mixology event for Elite and Beyond. So hey. Welcome to Musical Mixology. Now this event is something very, very, very brand new. You're actually our first guest that we are providing this experience to. And this is something very unique because what we did, we took some of most favorite cocktails of all times and we crafted a perfect pairing together with music. This cocktail is something very bittersweet and I hope that it's one of your favorites. It's it's going to be a Manhattan. snacks. I feel like snacks. Oh, you are probably right. Uh, we are forward, so let's walk aft. Um, snacks are probably in order. Oh my gosh, no, we just uh, came out and looked at the solarium, and that's kind of amazing. They have nice orange chairs. Yeah, not just because we had like three drinks in a very, very short period of time. Two and a half. Actually. Okay. That was a really interesting event. Actually. It really was. Yeah. Guys, look at the solarium. So the question is, can we find carbs at this time of night? I have a feeling pizza is going to be a choice. We're going to go to Ocean View Cafe, which is down a deck here in the aft. See, we were the guinea pigs instead right. of seeing how it goes. It's terrible. They should cancel it forever. Never have that event again. What do we have? Cheese pizza, spinach and sun-dried uh, tomato. Spinach and sun-dried tomato. Ooh, bacon caramelized onion sounds good. And bacon and caramelized onion. I'll take it all. So, I, guys, I got half a stinking pizza. I don't know what happened. Buh. We have come back to the cabin to find our paper for tomorrow and some very flat towel animals, as usual. And we've got dark chocolate. Good night. Good night. night. We are going to bed, y'all. Yes. That, that is a dangerous, dangerous event that they've got oh. going on. I mean, it's good, and I understand the concept of it, but yeah, yeah it's very dangerous. Yeah, we're going to sleep, because that's tired. the only place we need to go. Plus, we've taken tours like four days in a row, so we're that's exhausted. Y'all be proud of us. <laughs> yeah. We're weird, and we're tired. still recording a good night, but... Yeah. Um, good night for now. Dinner night. dinner was really good. I've been impressed overall oh, yeah. with the food on this ship. It's um, been really good, honestly. Yeah, because when we first started cruising Celebrity, we are like, oh, the food is so good. Mm -hmm. And then, like, Infinity, we were kind of like, mm, mm. is it? We came back on here, and we're like, okay, it's All still pretty good. All the flavors are good, and the seasoning's good. Yeah, nice options, too. How'd you like the show? The show was really good. It was Buble. I knew more songs than I thought I would. I knew 11 out of 12, so that was pretty ten, good, honestly. 10 and yeah, a half. I win. <laughs> 
No, they were really great do. singers. And it they was were. nice that there was a trio because they had really pretty harmonies. Right, but we're going to bed because that's the only place we need to be right now after that stinking event which they Sally. need to cancel and never hold again in no. the life ever. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. We're in St. Kitts at 7 a.m. But we're not getting off at 7 a.m. We're not. We have an 11 a.m. tour. because But we, are, we do have plans. We are what is known as smart. Yes. Good night. Not right now we're not. But anyway, good night. We'll see you in the morning. Bonsoir.